Welcome to React challenge number one. Uh, we want to create a simple shopping cart which shows three products and their price and count. Then calculate the total price and show it at the end of the cart. The shopping cart should be like this. So we have three components in the main component. The first one is header, which displays shopping cart. The second one is product items, which lists three products. And the last one is footer, which shows the total price. Very good. Let's do this sample in the VS code. Open VS code and show the terminal here. I want to create the project. <coughs> I use create react app and I name the app simple shopping cart. It takes a while to create your project. Click on the folder icon explorer and open folder go to your created folder simple shopping cart and open it in vs code run your start because the previous folder was closed and as you see we have the running version of our application here what we need to do is to edit the app.js open app.js and inside the render function delete all elements but put the main div there. Here we need three components. The first one is header, the second one is items which shows the product items and the last one is footer. We need to create these three components. The footer components need in the render function, we need to define the product items, which is an arise of object. Each object have a name, like iPhone, have a count, is 3 and has a price which is 1 200 in this sample I just create 3 product like this and can just format the code very good for header items to show the products need the product items show i send the products items as a probes to this component
and footer need the total of this shopping cart I use the radius function of JavaScript to calculate the total so here I use the radius which has an accumulator and current value and return the accumulator plus current value dot price multiply by current value dot count and I set the default value of accumulator to a zero let's create the components because we do not need any uh, state and life cycle we can develop all three components as a functional components so let us start with header function header it doesn't accept any probes so we can develop it without probes parameters too return h1 shopping cart you see we develop the first component every time you can press ctrl s to save and watch the results or any errors in the console here you see we do not define items and footer components so let's define the footer component which is easier probes here probes is very important because in the footer we send the total price of shopping cart as a total probes return h2 probes dot total here I press ctrl s and as you see the footer errors were gone the last component is items which accept probes and here I need to create a table to show the product items and inside the table I need table footer the first cell or the first table header is name the second one is count the third one is price and the last one is total very good I've created the headers of the tables you can watch the results in localhost column 300 so I need to create the items product items of this table let's create them here I use the map function like this probes dot product items that map I just I want to map the JavaScript ob object to JSX so here I convert the item to table roof 
and table cell. The first column should show the name, so item that name for first one. The second is count. Third is price. And the last one, which is total, price multiplied by item dot count. Let's see the result. As you see here, we have a shopping cart which shows name, count, price, and total, and show the total price of this shopping cart as a footer. To show the table horizontally centered, open index app.css and for table at add margin like this. Uh, we have uh, some errors in the console and we need to clear those errors. First of all is about key. When you are showing a list of elements with map function, you need to assign a key to each element of the item. Here you see we use the map. The first element after map should have a key function. We can use item.name because it is unique. And as you see, the errors related to key have gone. We have two other errors. The first one is tr cannot appear as a child of table at a t body. Great. So we have to respect the HTML rules. So after table, I add t body. and t head great very good there is no any error and we just have a warning which is about logo because we do not need any more in this sample and here you can see a clean console which shows a shopping cart with the total price of the shopping cart and product items like this you can add dollar sign to prices like this and it's much clear for users very good this is the end of this tutorial about creating a simple shopping cart i hope you have learned about dividing components using probes and showing a rise of items in uh, React. Have fun.